Okay, now this is a tool that I use called LTP, Long Tail Platinum Pro. And what this does is it basically is the Moz tool, but really amped up times 100 because it takes what Moz does on an individual keyword scale and it does that over and over and over again for a bulk of keywords. I mean, like right here, I have 866 and I can actually go through, click this little button, calculate, and it's going to do the exact same thing that Moz did for the top 10 ranking sites, but it's gonna make it easier for us because it's gonna put it in a side, a single number called average keyword competitiveness. And that's going to be ranked on a scale from one to 100. And most of the times you wanna try and get a keyword that's 40 and below um, that's going to be something that's actually feasible to obtain. Now, is it going to be instantly overnight? No. Organic SEO is something where it comes at what I call kind of um, a, a, oh my goodness, uh, a, a curve, and I'm forgetting the name of the aperture or curve, but it starts out slow and then organically it just really takes off. So you got to get over that hump and that's by building a lot of articles, having a lot of keywords under 40. And the more keywords that start ranking page one, the more Google ranks other keywords that you wouldn't have normally ranked page one for page one as well. So you focus on one keyword and then Google will naturally, as your article becomes more popular, start ranking you for dozens of other keywords around that phrase, even if you've never even sometimes mentioned that keyword inside the article. So that's a really cool thing. It's kind of like the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Well, it's the same thing here. So if you know how to do it from the get go, what you have to do right, you make good content, it's only going to help you as time progresses along. So as you can see here, all of these keywords are pretty uh, definitively hard, 57, 52. You know, we can just code through, keep calculating. I'm just gonna show you kind of an idea of everything that they've calculated behind this one number so you can see how complicated it is and how it can really get um, very out of control if you didn't do this with a tool like Longtail Pro Platinum. So here we have the trust flow. The trust flow is the idea of Hey, for the domains that are pointing towards this website for the keywords anxiety, what is their trust in relation to Google? So Google's kind of like comparing like, is this website trustworthy? Okay, you know, it came from doctor.com or mercola.com. So yes, if, they, if they're citing this source, then it's probably pretty trustworthy. You know, if Wikipedia has a source and it's pointing over here, it's probably pretty trustworthy. So it's comparing all the trust flow of these websites and that affects the trust flow of the actual website that they're pointing to. So, you know, if you have a lot of low quality websites or domains, it's just gonna end up knocking your trust flow down. Same with the citation flow, it's the exact same way. It's how fast you built up your citations and, you know, were they high quality, et cetera, which then brings in and uh, increases to the domain authority and, or I'm sorry, the domain trust flow and the domain citation flow. So the initial, citation or trust flow is for that individual page. Then you have the domain as a whole. All these pages combined, when we add them all up together, what's that value? And obviously we can see for here, it is very high. Why? Because it's Wikipedia. So the domain is highly trustworthy and the individual page itself has been linked to by many other trustworthy websites, which gives it such a high citation and uh, trust flow for that individual page. Now, I don't want you to get kind of glossed over with all these SEO terms because it's not as complicated as it really sounds. It's just if the numbers are high, don't go for it. It's that simple. If the numbers are low, say like right here, anxiety disorders, we can see it has a decent, pretty good um, domain flow, but obviously it doesn't have too many external links here. Um, and the referring domains, there's only nine and there's no educational government backlinks. So if we got a few educational or government backlinks pointing to our website, we could probably fairly easily beat out the number 10 position here. Now, that may not uh, be forever because, you know, the, the, the bottom positions pages or positions basically uh, six through 10, they'll kind of change up inside of Google uh, quite a bit. So this page may be different tomorrow. So you have to really focus on these top five performers. And as you can see, most of them, 73, 53, 64, 73. That's all of these numbers combined right here from trust flow to site age. It's adding all of this up and putting it out as one number. Then it adds all of these numbers up, divides it by 10, and you have your average median. So again, 
you have your internal links, um, indexed URLs, the site age. So all these sites are over 15 years old or 10 years old. You need to have a domain that has at least 10 years of age in order to probably rank up here as well. You could have a new website that's maybe one or two years old, but it's gonna take a long time and a lot of work to do so. So this is something that you should probably stay away from because you're just seeing the site age is a little too high for you. And this is why I love this as a paid tool because again, it takes all of these huge numbers that seem so incomprehensible and I've been involved in SEO, I have a firm, still run one, and I still hate SEO, but tools that I have make it easy and that's why we are successful in what we do. We take what's complicated, make it as simple as possible and just act on that. And that's what I'm doing for you here by the introduction of Longtail Pro Platinum. Now, I don't always suggest that you get every tool. If you want to do more research past 25 keywords, then you should get Longtail Pro Platinum. It's a great investment, and by golly, you could even sell keyword research to companies or even on Fiverr, all types of different places, because everyone needs research just like this. And when you even kind of explain what you're doing through this and kind of show them all of those stats, they're overwhelmed and they just go, wow, I couldn't do this by myself. Thank God I have you. And it takes you five minutes to do 25, 30 keywords. Not even that. I mean, I could just go through and while talking to you, you know, click about all of these, go down, boom, 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 boom. And then I come back after I've gotten a cup of coffee and all of these things have been calculated. So, you know, I get to go do other work while I'm talking, working on this. There we go. I'm all done. So I come back to here and here we are. And that's why I like my paid softwares over free. But if you have a minimum amount that you're going to be researching, go with the free first.